Hi there. Good morning. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I have a book haul. I went to my book sale and I did okay. I think it had been a couple weeks. Well, last time I went was when Nancy came out and we ran the roads together. Um, so, hold on. Let me start hauling out books. Um, I did okay. I, oh, hold on. There we go. Oh, a few more. And, oh, two more. Okay. Hold on. There we go. There we go. And I'll throw that bag out of the way. Woohoo! All right. So, um, actually, I got this. Let's do this first. It's a little package of Kleenexes facial tissues and I liked the little image on it a little squirrel with a little little birdie um oh and there's lots on it yes this is what I was hoping so uh, hubby and I stopped in at a place we've got this we've got an apple orchard near us and it has it's massive, massive apple orchard. When I say, like, it's not a little field. It's a big production. Um, so they also own, you can go into the store on the site and there's cider, there's a bakery, they, anything that you can make out of apples, they sell it. Um, anyhow, they have a little gift shop in there as well. And they had some really cute, like, Christmas napkins but they wanted like $7 a package. And I really liked this little squirrel. You cute. Um, but it was seven bucks and you get so many that you don't need. But I noticed that they had these little packages of Kleenexes. So I'm taking a chance that I can take them apart. And that was a little better. It was $2 and 50 cents. So let's just see if we can get this apart and, and still have fun the way we would have fun with um, with napkins. Sorry, I'm thinking. So apparently it's four ply. Okay, that's good. One, two. Did I already get three? Because that looks quite. That already looks thin. Let's go. Let's do it first and see, and then see if that will. No, maybe that is still another one. All right, let's try it. <gasps> it is. Yes! Okay, I'm really, really happy. This has made my day. So for $2, this is the little images I want anyways, and I get eight of them per tissue. <gasps> oh, that's fantastic. Can you imagine these as little... As little journaling cards, like put them in the corner of a little journaling card. <gasps> oh, so cute. Get that out of the way. So I'm going to have to have some fun in a few minutes after I turn off the camera. And uh, do a little uh, dick poshing. Oh, that's so cute. Can't you just see little Catherine in there playing with these two fellas? You never know. <laughs> All right. I'm happy. Now to my books. So it's all over the place with the books. I found this. This was my little book sale. All the books are a dollar. Whether they're big, whether they're little. So I liked this one. It's called A Child's Christmas Cookbook. It's not very big. It's paperback, not very big. But it's got some nice um, black and white illustrations in it. Look at that. He's a little scary looking, but that baby looks angelic. See what I mean? A little scary looking. Imagine a baby woke up and saw that. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's not happy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, this is a little... I didn't see those ones. <laughs> yeah, he looks a little bit... Um, how come I got seated at the dog's table? <laughs> I like that one. I, I spotted that one. 
look at the little mice in bed in the book over here. So I just thought I liked the little illustrations. I could come up with something to do with those. There's Santa back when he used to smoke. cute we got a phone like that in our kitchen it belonged to my husband's uncle howard who owned uh, a hotel in new hampshire for many years and the, the the phone that we have like that was right out of one of the hotel rooms when they rewired the hotel to put in the mo the modern phone system um my father-in-law got one of the old phones. Oh, that child looks like she's already full. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm happy with that. I can find something to do with that. This is a strange little book. They get everything at this book sale. But it's got nice illustrations in it. What do you see? And they're two-sided. So even if I just wanted to um, put a proper edge on the one side, see how... It could be some of the things, not all of them. Or I could glue it down onto, oh, look at that collie. Cute illustrations, eh? Look at that ice skating. So I just thought this was, uh, that this was kind of neat. Pretty little illustrations, nice vivid colors. That looks like that book I have. Hold on. I bet that's the same artist. I have a book. I think it's called An Edwardian Season. That looks very, very similar uh, style of artwork. Anyhow. So this is cute. I can see taking it apart and getting that bow out of there and trimming them and rebacking some of them for journaling cards. Um, I never like to walk away from a really cool looking religious book. And there's all the saints and apostles and, and what have you on this cover. So this is a good one. And it's not too... It's not too big, and I think I could alter it. What year is this? It's not that old. There was a date in it. 1935. So it's got kind of Joanne Garrett's grade 8 Bible history. Oh, now I'm going to have to find Joanne Garrett's, see if I can find her. But it's certainly got some interesting pages that would make for curious, uh, you know, backgrounds and journaling tags and and what have you. So I liked that one. I like the color of it. Um, I liked this simple little book. Uh, it, first of all, look at the charming picture of the mother and the children. It's red and green. Wouldn't it make a cute Christmas journal? It's called A Story of Trust to Adeline Goheen from F. Bennett. Now I'm going to have to find Adeline as well. A Story of Trust. 1911, so it's 110 years old. Blessed are the merciful. All right, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to look up Adeline. And, uh, and then I can foresee, not this year, but maybe next year. Wouldn't that make a very pretty Christmas journal? Red and green. I love this next book that I found. Isn't that cute? Bunny Brown and his sister Sue on Grandpa's farm. Look how cute that is. It's, it's very, very sore and worn out. Mary Margaret Larkin. Dunbar Road, Toronto. I don't know how old this is. 1916. I think that this could still make a really pretty book. It feels like once I start taking apart, it's going to fall apart. So this definitely 
uh, would need to be shabby chic but I think it would do it just wonderfully I love that the last name is Brown that was my maiden name and uh, I love when little boys wear leather shoes with straps on it so cute uh, you'll never guess what keeps finding me it just keeps haunting me <laughs> Yeah, I found it again, and I think I'm going to have to give it away again. I think it just is one of those things. Find a penny, give, find a penny, pick it up. All day long, you'll have good luck. Find a penny, pass it on. Oh, oh, I can't remember the rest of it. Rats, someone out there is going to know it. Let me know what it, because it's, it's something about give the, give the penny away. Anyhow, so I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to figure out something else and, and give away this copy as well. I mean, it's just a paperback, but it's just the artwork we want. The paperback is perfect. There is there's the uh, that beautiful reindeer that I have on the cover of my December dailies. So, so Christmas trolls is it's back. <laughs> Um, I found a copy of this, and I've seen other people with it. Janet Marsh's Nature Diary. It's sort of like a an Edith Holden type book. Oh, Mary. Merry Christmas, 1982. Hope you enjoy the nature in this book. Anyhow, it's got, it's just got beautiful, delicate little illustrations in it. That's a cool fish. See what I mean? It's very um, in the spirit of Edith. I'm pretty. I'm sure. Oh, look at those little, the little eggs in the nest. I think I, I think I can do quite a bit with this dandelion mushrooms. We love mushrooms. Let's see what's in December. Ooh. I might have to take that right out and put it in uh, in holly that I'm working on. So I was happy to find that for a dollar. Um, I found this. I've been collecting Christmas books. We always make uh, goodie baskets. For our children for Christmas, we put into it nibbly treats and things to eat. And um, we usually put in like a bottle of Prosecco for New Year's Eve for them to open. And um, I've been collecting all year um, secondhand books that are might as well be brand new. Like this one, I don't think has even had the spine cracked. And it's, uh, it's the Polar Express. And it's absolutely in perfect condition. So I will add this to... So we'll just... I tuck these... Uh, I'll tuck these books in with this year's baskets. I have other ones put away. I should show you later. Um, on the other hand, if I show you, some of my kids watch these videos. And they'll know. <laughs> so right now, someone knows that they're going to get... Polar Express. Um, I found a really cool looking book that I'm looking forward to transforming. I love the look of it. I When I pull it off the shelf, it's Tragedies of Shakespeare, and I love that spine. I love how grimy it looks. All the sp spots and stains. I just, this book is screaming to be an all sorts journal. Um, I thought it was older than it was because it's so worn out looking. Um, it's not that old. 1925. Well, I guess it's almost 100 years old. Oh, yeah. I just... I, <laughs> don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> that sounded funny. Um, I, When I grabbed it, I thought, this baby is 1890s for sure. For sure. Uh, so when, it, when I read 1925, I thought, oh, well, 
wrapped and I still love it don't get me wrong that's beautiful um yeah so this is just uh calling out to become a beautiful new journal and I like the size of it and I like that it's a humdinger of a of a width oh by the way I haven't I expected my 12 inch metal ruler to show up since I went out and bought a new one and it hasn't yet it's still in hiding yeah that's two inch that's nice very good I'm happy about that now I found something <laughs> it's it's a red letter week for me but I found it in a different version that I've never seen before look what I found two in one week how does that happen this is the paperback I've never seen the paperback before I'm very excited about it uh, size wise the inside is still the same it's still those lovely golden pages but it's just a little bit smaller how cool is this now here's the problem um it's glued because it's paperback it's glued so I even was looking at it in the car and it already like I did that to it but it looks like the pages would come out nice and easy let's see oh look at that that's fantastic so I can I'll just you know I'll use washi tape or whatever and uh and put them back together but I'm really happy about this find I like the size honestly I've never seen it. let me go get the hardcover so you can see what I'm talking about the difference in size because it's uh it's pretty cool hold on I'm way over here oh come here you come here come on Edith <sighs> so here's the real deal here's the big one that everyone loves so do you see what I'm oh Shakespeare out of the way Shakespeare oh I'm knocking things over so do you see what I mean look at the difference in size isn't that amazing I, I, I don't know maybe a small things amuse small minds I it thrills me <laughs> I really really I like this and I'm going to make good use of this one I will get into it no problem that won't bother me in the least I think I'm going to get in and start rating the December ones right now look at all those oh there'll be another little picture of Ren in here I could make another Ren anyhow that's it that is uh my book haul for today i'm happy with it and it could pa i know i say it every time but i really do think it's probably um my last one until they close they will be open till november 27th so what's that three more weeks uh yeah three more weeks we'll see if my husband has to work one of those weekends Maybe I will pop up there. I do find if I can spread out my visits, I do better and I find more than if I go every single week. It's, I don't find as many. There's not that much of a change when I go every single week. But since it's going to be closed all winter, I guess if the opportunity comes up, I should go. Um, I should go and take a look, see what does it hurt. And it's a really pretty drive. So, all right. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining me uh, today. And I'm, in the meantime, I'm going to figure out um, <laughs> what I'm going to do about this copy of Christmas Trolls, uh, what I can come up with for some fun and um, have someone else. Uh, I want to do it quickly because I want this to get out and maybe somebody wants to have fun with it um, for this year's Christmas. And with the mail, you know, you just never know. Take care, everyone. We'll talk soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.